Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading about will we be together? So if you would like to choose a group now, we have group one, group two, group three, and group four. Take a nice deep breath. And we'll just get started. So let's start off with group number one. Hello group number one, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see, will we be together? So let's see, we've got this gorgeous opalite, one of my favorite crystals, I love it. I feel like I wanna get a massive chunk of opalite. I think I might invest. <laughs> so let's see. So for romance angels, we have children, express your love, wedding, give your relationship a chance, and past life relationship. Okay, gorgeous, lovely, love that. Okay, so now we from the tarot, we have the Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Judgment. Oh my God, I love this. This is so nice. I love this kind of like evolving of things i love that we're evolving so that's really really good i love that so essentially i feel like there could be children involved in this i feel like there could be um an ascension towards a relationship so i feel like this person who you are dealing with could be a past life relationship i feel like you need to give this relationship a chance in the sense that if you're not sure if you want to be together and you're thinking i don't really want to i think the universe is like give this relationship a chance if it's not going to happen now it will happen because we have the Ace of Swords right in the middle. So will we be together? I'm pretty sure you will because we have, this is almost like the past relationship card as well here and this is almost to do with children. So I love that we've got that here. We've got like the connection of the um, Romance Angel cards with the Tarot. So we also have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you could actually have various options. Uh, they could have options. I don't feel like options with people. I feel it's more like options with um I'm seeing 3D object, objects, so almost like um, career, um, children, so there's some sort of, some sort of, some sort of, some sort of, there's some sort of blockage that is happening to do with children, or some sort of like, there's just, it's stuck, something is stuck, and there's lots of other options around this person. So I feel like they're almost choosing, which is the most important. I feel like it's almost they're trying to weave the relationship into something. So almost they could have a lot of stuff going on and they're almost trying to think, okay, how do I get around the relationship with like my money issues or starting a new job, that sort of thing. Or maybe it could be distance. But I feel like this isn't really an issue. I feel like they're almost making a big deal out of it. I'm getting the word sissy, <laughs> which is really sassy. But I feel like they could be kind of, they're not, they're, they're, why, <laughs> why, it's like why they're thinking about it is because at the end of the day, I feel like they need to express their love to you and you're almost waiting on this, which is obviously why you clicked on this video, because I feel like you're in this queen of wands element where you've almost sorted out your stuff, you've always sorted out everything and now you're like, hurry up, <laughs> come on, <laughs> but there's going to be judgment, there's going to be judgment day, things are going to be sorted, which is really nice, I love this reading flow of it the energy is gorgeous it just feels really floral like floral energy when i see floral energy is very light very pretty very um oh it just feels really nice and i just literally i looked out the window and i saw a feather floating and it was going up which was kind of strange but i saw a, I saw a feather and it was floating up so that was that was really cool so i definitely feel like the angels are here with you they're supporting you and if you feel stuck calling your angels universe whatever you believe in to uh help you through this process but i definitely feel like it's going to be um, some sort of commitment this doesn't have to be a wedding it could lead to a wedding but I feel like if it's just if you're not actually with them I feel like it could lead to that sort of thing also I feel like if you're actually with somebody I mean obviously this is more for people who aren't with their person but if you're with somebody like actually in a relationship I feel like you could be ascending to a high level of commitment sort of thing this situation involves marriage so it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I feel like you could make the romantic gesture if you haven't already. If you're feeling like, oh, I don't know if they like me or not. They do like you. I think they're just confused. <laughs> they're confused, you're confused. It's all confusion. <laughs> but basically, it's all going to work out okay. And I feel like someone's actually going to send you a text message because it's quite like a, I'm seeing, I'm actually hearing like the doo -doo 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 of trumpets. So it's almost like a ringtone 
but like a really big sound. So I feel like it could almost be like a really loud phone call. Like your phone could be so suddenly you forgot that your ringtone was up really loud one day and it suddenly turns on, it could be this person. That sort of thing. I could also, I feel like this gesture, I feel like it might not even be that big, but it's gonna feel big to you because it's like, oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. This definitely is, there's gonna be commitment, there's gonna be movement, there's gonna be just really strong um, foundations are being set. So basically, will we be together? The answer is yes. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to purchase a private reading, all the information is down below. I normally have a sale on, so look down below for the sale that's going on. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. I would love that. Uh, if not, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, please subscribe. Also comment down below if this resonated. And if you would like to uh, like this video, then feel free to do that as well. So also I will pick out some zodiac signs for you guys. I felt the need to. Um, so if you want to click off now, you can do that. But if you want to know the zodiac signs that come up, then we'll do that. But also this doesn't actually have to be this person. This could be you or this this might not even resonate. But if this has resonated and this doesn't, that doesn't mean it doesn't, it doesn't resonate. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. Okay, we have Sagittarius, Leo, Leo always seems to come up in these, and we also have Virgo. So if the person you're interacting with is any of those signs, then amazing, if not, then just let it fly. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye! Hello group number two, how's it going? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see, will we be together? We also have this gorgeous blue stone, so it could be to do with a little bit of a lot to do with communication, anything that's opening your heart shock your heart chakra well maybe your heart chakra and your throat chakra so let's see what's going on in the romance angel deck so we have religious factors that needs to go over there they're telling me getting to know each other reconciliation gorgeous chemistry and flirt so i feel like you could have uh, actually <laughs> okay this is really blunt they're telling me you could have had sexual relations <laughs> with this person i feel like you could have had sex with this person already I feel like there's a deep bond and but basically you are in separation right now I feel like that's exactly what they're telling me it's like really really strong I'm getting heated really really yummy gooey like thick um hot energy so I feel like it's to do with like sex and love that sort of thing interaction I feel like you guys will reconcile so essentially we'll be together I'm pretty sure yes and I haven't even looked at the tarot so you're going to be flirting with this person also and getting to know this person so I love the fact also that we have, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I definitely feel like there's going to be some deep connection here. Uh, yeah. We also have the Ace of Cups. Oh my God, that is amazing. We have the Page of Cups. Gorgeous. The world. Oh my God. The King of Wands and the Emperor. Hallelujah. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this so much. Guys, you have an amazing reading. What the hell? <laughs> okay. So not really what the hell, but... Okay, so you could be also be connected with a Pisces, um, a, can a Cancerian or Scorpio. You could be connecting with a fire sign and also a, what else am I feeling? Libra, possibly a Leo as well. So definitely feel like you guys will be together. I feel like it could take a little bit of time. I'm seeing this as like a clock and it just kind of, it, time, yeah. It's just telling me it could take time. So essentially you are... I feel like this is your person and this is you. So they are kind of standing and kind of being a little bit stubborn right now. Um, could be Taurus energy or someone who is a Taurus, um, possibly Virgo as well. So basically, it's right, there's so many star signs, but hopefully one of those resonates. <laughs> so also, yeah, definitely a Pisces as well. If I haven't said that already, probably have, but my brain is very mushy today, so there we go. So I definitely feel like this could be you or them. I feel like more of them, and then you're kind of standing, sitting here in the middle of the world and the Emperor, like, come on, dude, like hurry up <laughs> well i'm ready i'm ready and waiting <laughs> um this could also be a same sex uh, relationship as well so it doesn't really matter but that's what i'm seeing here uh if not let it fly it doesn't matter but that's what i'm seeing as well as an option obviously this is general reading so definitely your world is going to turn i feel like there's stubbornness on this side there's stubbornness on this side there's emotion so definitely the world is going to turn so it's almost like he's got to get through or that your person has got to get through the stubbornness and it's going to turn around. He's going to have a little think. They're going to have a little think. Man or woman. Sorry, I keep saying he. Man or woman. Doesn't matter. They have a nice little think about it. And they're like, hmm, maybe I want to have this person in my life. Boom, bitch. Let's get it on. <laughs> in a non-sexual way and in a sexual way. <laughs> I'm feeling really, like, sassy right now. So I feel like a lot of you are proper sassy people. Or you're like, hmm, shamama. You, like, really like this 
energy. It's very sexy. I'm feeling very, very sexy. Um, so definitely could be connected, I feel like, with a fire sign as well. There's definitely fire energy between you two. It's really hot and really sexy. I feel like because this is a past life relationship, it's like, I really want to get my hands on this person. So you're definitely going to be flirting and having chemistry. If you're not in contact, I feel like this is going to start up again. And this could also just start with a little bit of flirting and chemistry and then it's going to go on and lead on to more um, committed relationships. There's definitely an investment of cups and I love the fact we've got two cups because I almost feel like it's like both of you are on an equal term. I feel like one of you could offer an emotional message to somebody and then it's like boom everything's like overflowing i'm hearing water streaming i'm feeling just everything it's just it's just amazing 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 100 percent gorgeous love this amazing um yeah but i definitely feel like the person you're dealing with right now is kind of really confused and they've got lots of different options in their head <coughs> excuse me they're like dealing with career money where i'm gonna live maybe changing their house maybe kind of doing up their house, renovating, that sort of thing. Um, I'm seeing possibly children in the way. So I feel like they're kind of like juggling different things, but they're almost like they're gonna be in control of it. So it's not even a worry, but basically this group is amazing. Love this, amazing. Will you be together? Pretty sure you will be. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below. Um, I normally do a sale at some point. So just check down below to see what the sale is that's going on at the moment. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, my name is Crystal Girl. I'd love to have you here on my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And also, if you would like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if it's re resonated. And I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see, will we be together? We have this gorgeous citrine. I'm pretty sure this is citrine. Considering I'm called the Crystal Girl, you think I know, but I get confused because a lot of crystals look the same. Citrine is to do with the... Um, sacral chakra yeah and to do with ego and stuff like that confidence so let's see what we have with the romance angels whoop i wanted to flip around we have stay optimistic about your love life retreat and it's safe for you to love they're telling me that this needs to be around that way yeah no okay no okay sorry got confused so we have stay optimistic about your love life retreat and it is safe for you to love which is so nice love that right so i definitely feel like just from looking at this, you are kind of waiting for somebody to come forward and work on yourself. So we have the Eight of Cups, Hangman, the Devil, and Six of Pentacles. Okay, so let's have a little look at this. Okay, I feel like your partner or the person you're dealing with is hanging or you're hanging. No, I feel like you're left hanging um, while this person is dealing with their crap, basically. They're dealing with a lot of shit. Um, and it's coming up, it's being brought up. You're, you've moved away from stuff and they're moving away from stuff. So you're kind of both mirroring each other. I feel like you've already advanced to the hangman as in like you've already done the work and now you're hanging on in there and you're waiting. But they're still kind of walking towards this away. They're walking away from anything that doesn't serve them. And basically they are essentially just kind of dealing with a lot of pain a lot of um like emotional pain a lot of um i'm seeing the word sex as well so they're dealing with their intimacy issues um i'm seeing almost like an addiction like addiction to could be addiction to sex that sort of thing anything to, anything to do with sexual things that's addiction to that if not there is just dealing with some sort of addictions i'm seeing someone taking pills as well so I feel like it could be almost like a drug addiction, that sort of thing. So not to get too deep into it, but it just could be any sort of addiction that is unhealthy. But I definitely feel like you guys are going to be moving into some sort of thing that's more balanced. So essentially, I feel like you could be together. I feel like it's almost like 50-50, so I'm not too sure. I'm sorry. Let's just, do you know what? Let's get another card to see what else. So what is this Six of Pentacles here, please? Okay, can we have one more? Judgment, gorgeous. Can we have one for the devil, please? Thank you. Okay, right, okay, so definitely they're dealing with their own stuff. They could be meditating on all their deep things, going deep into thought, really looking into some stuff. So underneath we have the King of Cups, which is absolutely amazing. It basically means that underneath all of this, they do really like you and they have a lot of emotions. They, It's just kind of like exploding. I'm seeing the word exploding and volcano. So there's going to be like an explosion of emotions that's going to suddenly come out and you're going to be like, holy hell, that's intense. 
but it's going to be amazing because they're really going to contemplate. I feel like this is almost like both of you, almost like a mirroring energy where you're both kind of hanging and kind of looking at things differently, that sort of thing. I feel like these two cards are actually quite similar. Um, they have obviously a different energy to them, but I definitely feel like your person is almost kind of sitting and waiting for this to pass and they're almost just really thinking getting in there. They could also be finding out a different perspective on life once they've dealt with all their issues. But it's definitely going to be judgment. So I feel like you will know what will happen um, to in this partnership. You will know kind of what's going to go on sort of thing. And there is going to be judgment with this um, partnership. So you will kind of realise what's going to go on. But it might just take a little bit of time. Because I feel like there could be a little bit of deception going on. So just be careful because I feel like this person may have a little bit of an ulterior motive. Obviously not for all of you but... Just be careful. I feel like it might not actually be that. It could also be the fact that they're in the middle and they don't know what to do. So they're like, they're used to sneaky behaviour in the past and they feel like they could have to be almost sneaky. I'm saying sneaky because like they're not actually being sneaky. They're just kind of avoiding talking about stuff. That's basically what it is. Um, but it's going to be judgment. Things are going to come out of the waterworks. They're telling me things are going to come out. Explosion. I'm seeing like a dam exploding. Basically like emotions are going to start flowing. So I feel like it's good for you too that your fact that you are away from each other because both of you have stuff to sort out at the moment. I love that a retreat is right in the middle because it's basically like I know you're going through a lot of stuff but it's good that you're not together because right now anyway because I feel like you've got a lot of stuff to deal with. So stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Also it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel like this is almost like you're having doubts about is this going to happen. I feel like this could easily happen. But you just need to be um, more consistent, tell me more consistent with self-love. So keep looking at yourself, keep opening your heart chakra. I know it's not what you always want to hear, but sh heart chakra is really, really important. I'm getting um, EFT. So if you don't know what EFT is, look it up. It's really good for letting emotions flow and I'm tapping like my heart. So I feel like you're really needing to let stuff flow, let stuff out and emo um, release emotions. And it's safe for you to love. So... Just because this person may not be the one for you, um, it's definitely it's safe for you to love. Like it's safe for you to love this person. Like obviously, I know I said this person might not be for you, but this is general. So I feel like it's your choice as to what you want. But I definitely feel like they could be coming forward anyway. Um, basically, because I feel like this is the sort of person that you really want to be with. But I just generally feel like patience. And I know this is t turning out quite slow. I feel like he's quite slow. This person on the horse. I feel like he's is going quite slow because the guy isn't on the horse and I feel like if they're going to go fast they'd both be on the horse together so that kind of sounds like like an innuendo for like sex I don't know <laughs> that's what my mind does, uh, is at the moment today it's definitely a lot of sexual energy here so I definitely feel like it's a little bit slow so you're almost waiting I just thought something you know it's almost like you're waiting for this um your your person to come on the horse with you you're almost like come on off we go and he's like mm, let me think about it. <laughs> That's basically what it is. So will you be together? Pretty sure you will be. A um, little bit of uncertainty, but I, I feel like a lot of you will be. So thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below if it resonated. And feel free to subscribe to my channel. My name is The Crystal Girl. Also, I'm also doing sales down below, normally with my... Um, private readings if you want a private reading with me all the information is down below you can uh, message me on instagram or email me please follow me on instagram also if you'd like to and i'll speak to you very soon thank you for being here bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's see will you be together so we have this gorgeous stone this is to do with your root chakra so you may need to get grounded or you might be kind of you might have an overactive root chakra, so maybe look into that. If that's just an extra message for you, obviously it doesn't have to resonate. So we have, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Love yourself first. Passion. I really like that. That's really nice. Okay. So let's see what else. We have three of swords, ace of wands, the four of cups, the hierophant, and the uh, five of cups. Okay. They're telling me this is more. Is this a. Uh, no, okay. They're telling me it's at the end, but it could be at the start. Okay, so. 
I feel like there's going to be an olive branch towards you because we have the Ace of Wands. So someone is going to come forward towards you. Um, there is a bit of heartache and a bit of heartbreak to do with your person or like they could be going through some stuff or you could be going through some stuff. Oh, sorry. Oh. <clears throat> so, yeah. But I love the fact that, like, minus these cards, look at these two cards. Like, they're both offerings, which is really, really nice. I mean, this um, Four of Cups did come out in the reverse, like that. So it could almost be like you could be rejecting this offer, or it could be in the sense that, um, yeah, you could just be rejecting the offer, essentially. You're not really too sure about it. But, uh, yeah, but I feel like this is more in upright, to be fair. But, yeah. So, will you be together? Possibly. I feel like it's pretty much, like, it's there. Like, it's a yes, pretty much. Because we have the Ace of Wands. That's basically what's securing it for me. And the fact that we have the Hierophant. But we have the Five of Cups here. So, let's just um, see what this Five of Cups is about. What's the Five of Cups about, please? Thank you. Oh, right. That's perfect. Thank you. We have the Hermit. I love that. Look how similar these two cards are. Like, they're both, like, in cloaks. They're kind of hiding in the dark, that sort of thing. I love that. Just the consistency makes me really happy. Oh, my God, guys, look at this. We also have the Death card and the Ten of Cups together. That's a really cool combination. And we also have the uh, Seven of Wands underneath. So I definitely feel like you're, you or your person is fighting off the offer to come, to come towards you. But I feel like they're going to be... Um, they are going to come towards you, but there's going to be, like, hesitation. They're going to be like, oh, I don't know, oh, I don't know, oh, I might message him, oh, I might, oh, I message him, oh, I might. It's like, just make up your mind. <laughs> but I feel like there's definitely going to be some sort of standing in. So if this person doesn't come towards you, I feel like you could easily just have, like, almost force the chat on them. Kind of like, dude, we need to sort this out. But I don't think that's kind of the way to go. If that happens, I don't feel like that's the way to go. Um, obviously, you don't... I don't think you might, you might not force this, but I feel like it's some sort of forcing. So I feel like, oh, right, they're telling me that you probably want to, like, force the connection. You want to, like, get this ball rolling. It's not in your timing, basically. So sorry if that sounds really sassy, but essentially it's like once the offer has been accepted, it will move forward and things will start moving. So we have the Hermit and the Five of Cups. This person could just be looking into the past kind of thinking oh i miss that person or like oh i had so much going on it's kind of like pathetic <laughs> this sounds really bad and i'm sorry if this sounds horrible but it's it's kind of like pathetic energy where it's like just let it go and me being the scorpio and the fixed sign i'm like mm, just let it go <laughs> which is quite funny because fixed signs do normally fixate on somebody but for me looking at this now it's like you've got someone like i'm talking to the, your person it's like you've got someone who's right here wanting to be with you and all you can do is just look at what you've got in the past so essentially i feel that like they could almost drag this forward with you um so you can easily just help put this person let go if they still have this so i feel like you could easily soothe them but i feel like with the hermit they're kind of in the dark right now but i think they're going to be sorting things out very soon they're just going to have to have a little bit of introspection and just have a little think about what they want to do so, I love the fact we had the Death card and the Ten of Cups. Look how gorgeous that is. That's like a proper um, change. That's like a proper, like, boom. Like, it's not like, oh, we just go from the Death card to, like, the Hermit. It's like, no. Massive transformation and then massive um, emotional fulfillment, which is so, so good. I love this. It's just gorgeous. Perfect. I love it. It's just, like, look. It's almost like you're saying to this person, look at what you have here. Look at what you have. Then almost like switches them into the um, to Ten of Cups. Like, yeah, this is going to be amazing. So I feel like they could need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of nurturing, I feel like. They could also be nurturing themselves. It's almost like you need to hold, them hand, hold their hand and guide them through it. But also, this could also be you in the sense that you could also be a Scorpio as well, like me. And basically, you could be going through a death process where you're letting go of the past and you are deciding that you want to have the Ten of Cups. So that is what's going on also you could be having children with this person and there's going to be a lot of passion and also it could be you who makes the effort first but if not this person will, will make the effort but love yourself first in the process and keep loving yourself and nurturing yourself in this process because it's going to be really really important okay guys before i go i literally just got the song um you're the one that i want from greece so if you know that song look it up 
if you don't look it up, I don't know. Uh, there could, but there could be a message in there for you. That's just what I get. Normally I sing in between part of pick, uh, groups. Um, so yeah, look look that at that if you want to. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If this resonated with you, then let me know down below. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. Um, I'm normally doing sales and things, so look down below in the description. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, my name is A Crystal Girl. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so, so much. We're quite close to 2,000 subscribers now, so I'm really excited. So please feel free to be part of this gorgeous spiritual family, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye.